Hello, I'm Joe Reagan, and today I'd like to take a look at LibreCAD from a long-time AutoCAD user perspective. First, we'll take a look at LibreCAD's command line and units. Then we'll investigate how closely those command lines might resemble uh, AutoCAD. And finally, we'll take a quick look at some of the common workflow tasks that you'll undertake when creating basic geometry. So let's go ahead and investigate the unit options in LibreCAD. Under Options and Application Preferences, you'll see that you can modify the units. However, scrolling through the options, there's no option for architectural units. You can't have a combination of feet and inches, which is often very useful uh, when creating house plans and things like that in AutoCAD. So I'll leave my units in inches and we'll proceed accordingly. Now let's create our first line in LibreCAD. So I'll click in the command prompt here and I'll use an AutoCAD command. I'll type L and press enter, which should initiate a line if it's similar to AutoCAD and it does. It says specify first point. So I'll come up here and just click on any point. Now I'm going to use some more uh, syntax that I would use in AutoCAD. I'm going to say at. I want to make it 50 feet uh, long so that'll be 50 times 12 because my units are in inches. I'm going to put that at an angle of zero and um, it looks like that worked. So that's that's not too bad. Um, and now let's see, let's check some more AutoCAD syntax. We'll go at for the next point at We'll move zero in the X direction. We're in relative units here. And we'll go 40 times 12 in the Y direction. And so it looks like that worked okay. And now we'll go uh, at 50 times 12 angle uh, 180 to get the next line. And coming around, we'll check out... Um, uh, let's turn our um, exclusive snap on, and, and I wanted to go to, uh, let's see if I can find an endpoint. That'll be there, and I should be able to click there, and then hit escape, and it, it looks like I have successfully created a square. So we saw in that example that the command line works similar to what you might expect coming from AutoCAD. Uh, you can create math operations in it. Uh, enter, um, you can enter both um, global coordinates and relative coordinates in that command line. So those will be natural things for you if you're coming from, a, from an AutoCAD user standpoint. So let's move on to the, uh, the next geometry we might want to experiment with. Let's, let's try to create a circle. So I'll click in the command line, and in AutoCAD, I would typically press C, uh, top C, and then press Enter. And we see we get an unknown command. So that, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, now I could type circle out, and we can see that we'd get into the circle command there. I'll escape out of that. And then I want to show you how you could give these commands um, different names. Uh, there's an alias file, and I'll um, show that to you here. You can navigate into the, the LibreCAD program files and find the uh, alias files there. That's simply a text file that you can modify. And here's that text file open, and I'll give a circle another alias. You can see that it already has the alias CI, but I can come up here to the top of the list and type C and tab and then type circle and save that and you, you could close that if you wanted to I'm just going to move it into another screen um, now you'll want to restart LibreCAD so I'll uh, close this file and we'll start it again and um, of course I'll have to open the file I was working in I called it Video LibreCAD. By the way, that's a DXF file. Um, and then, so now that we've modified that file, 
I've uh, also changed the snap to an exclusive snap, and we have it on the uh, the midpoint there. And so now I can type C and press enter. And since I've modified the alias file, it knows C is the circle command. And you'll notice that I'm snapping to the midpoints only. So um, if I wanted a circle centered here, then then that would be great. But I actually want a circle centered at the end point. So I'll click on that end point and then I'll change my um, exclusive snap point to a midpoint and we'll snap up here to this midpoint or we could snap to that midpoint um, and so we'll go to the uh, longer leg there and snap to that midpoint and of course we've created a circle I'll escape out so that we're no longer in the uh, circle command there Moving to the uh, the next item here that I wanted to investigate were, were the snaps. And you can see there's an exclusive snap. Uh, you can take that off and snap to multiple uh, potential entities. Here's your free snap that will allow you to snap anywhere on the screen. Uh, this is, in my opinion, of course, a little bit cruder and, and not as, um, not quite as, um, I guess uh, eloquent is is the AutoCAD, but it's you know it's open source, free. It's free software, so you're going to expect some things to be not quite as uh, polished, and this would be one of those. Uh, but we'll move on to the offset command and see if we can figure out how to do that. Let's pretend like that this is a um, a wall that was a 50 by 40 feet wall or room, I guess, with with maybe two by four walls. So let's see if we can get into an offset command. And um, I've already specified the distance to three and a half there. Now you could enter that again if you want to. And now this entry here is going to be a bit different than what you're used to in, in um, AutoCAD. So if you just hover close to the entity, but on a particular side, it will offset to that side. So I'm going to offset to the inside. We'll do that one and that one. And then we'll zoom out and then back in and I'll offset this wall and out and back in so that's different from what i'm used to in, in autocad a little bit but it's it's fine it that works pretty good okay so we've already covered line creation and some and creating a basic circle let's go on and and try trimming now uh, that's a very frequent thing you would do in AutoCAD. Uh, so I'll just type the, the command. I'll escape out of this command and type the command trim. And now it says select limiting entity. So if I want to trim to this line, uh, typically on AutoCAD, you would select on the side that you want to remove. So, But if I do that here, I see that that's actually the side you keep. So I'll control Z that to undo it. And then we'll trim again. And I'll use that same selecting line and click on the side. It's, now it says entity to trim. We're going to trim this entity and select on the side that you want to keep. And that works okay. Uh, now, AutoCAD, you can select many entities. Um, and, and that's not, not true in um, LibreCAD. There is a trim to command. So if I type trim to... And uh, now it says the first entity, I'm going to, you know, intuitively now select the side I want to keep and then the second side that I want to keep. So that's like a zero chamfer in, in, uh, in AutoCAD. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then I'll zoom out and then back in down here and uh, we'll, we'll do that same trim two command, trim two, and we'll, um, you know, select these entities. So that's working okay. Uh, now the next thing is, well, if I can only select two entities, how am I going to handle it if I need to remove a uh, part of a part of an arc? And it ends up that you know, trim and trim two are not going to work because you really need two boundaries for your for your trim to work. And the workaround in um, or the workflow approach for that in LibreCAD is to use a command called divide okay now it says 
specify entity to cut. So we're going to cut this entity and we want to make sure that, that um, we can get our intersections. We can snap to our intersections because I want to snap to this intersection. And then I'm going to, and now it says specify entity to cut. I need to cut this entity again. And where am I going to cut it? I'm going to cut it or divide it again up here at this intersection. And now I should be able to delete the uh, the residual there. So that's definitely not as, as slick and quick as it is using the multiple trim mode in AutoCAD, but, but it works okay. Now the video is getting a little long, so I'm not going to go into these. I'm not going to walk through these in detail, but of course you can do, do these things in LibreCAD. You can see the, the layer list down here, which I've not started fleshing out, but um, you know, copy and move mirror, they're similar to AutoCAD, but there are going to be differences like we saw there with the with the trim command where you have to learn a little bit different workflow and and often it's going to take a few more clicks um, but I think that probably gives you a feel for you know the uh, how close you can make LibreCAD work as compared to um, using your same workflow you might use in in AutoCAD hope that helps you uh, decide if you'd like to give uh, LibreCAD a try or not. Have a great day.